it's time for the Yacht Club Show. Needed now more than ever. With Killer, Rev D, and Dr. Jim. Greetings, listeners. This is Mike, and today we have a unique show. Not your typical Yacht Club show. It'll be a little bit more like a behind-the-scenes insight. During today's show, you'll hear the genesis of an idea, and then the -the behind-the-scenes development of that idea. So it's kind of a fly on the wall as we flesh out an idea, which is uh, a beer playoff. So for all you beer lovers, I think you'll enjoy today's show. What's kind of humorous about it is how three otherwise intelligent guys, one an ex-IT guy, one a retired CEO of a regional plumbing supply company, and the third a a PhD, how three guys like this can struggle to come up with a structure for a beer playoff. There's a lot of fuzzy math involved. And it does get off the rails a few times, but this is behind the scenes, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. So now we'll pick up with the Yacht Club show recording session from October 20th. Yeah, the guys here are a little uh, little surprised that uh, my laptop and equipment fired up here and working. First time. First time. First time. So, uh, Usually uh, they have a few minutes to collect their thoughts, so you know, so I'm going to be putting them on the spot now. We cannot be held responsible for what's to follow. Yeah, this may be a total catastrophe. This could is, be. We're yeah. moving into the twilight zone yeah. here. Welcome to the Yacht Club Show. This is Mike, joined in the studio by Rev D and Dr. Jim, the usual cast of characters. Before we get started, a few shout-outs, listener comments from our last couple of shows that was recorded on September 8th. Hey, by the way, we're doing pretty good here. This is our third show in a month and a half, right? It's pretty oh, good. It's tough. It's crazy. That's, that's a record for the Yacht Club. Retirement's not well, easy. you got to get it into your schedule, you know, between pickleball. Yeah, and, there's a lot going on. And a lot going know, on. driving range. Yeah. And, you can't, uh, you just can't call a week ahead of time, Mike, and expect <laughs> us to be available. That's true. These guys are busy, busy. So anyway, our listener shout outs, Tom from Atlanta. Okay. Actually, took the time to write us an email saying how much you enjoyed the first September 8th show with where we talked about Alice Cooper and then the Detroit Lions. He said, wow, you talked about two of my favorite subjects, music and sports. <laughs> and even better, Alice Cooper and the Detroit Lions. So doesn't he get liked, better, well, better. we drilled down, he really liked it. Uh, doesn't get the, much better than that. Doesn't get time, much man. better than that. Oh, good. Jim from Toledo also provided very positive feedback on both shows. He enjoyed the Alice Cooper segment. He does enjoy our political banter and got a kick out of our climate control discussion. Tracy from Toledo was so enamored by our climate solution that she, uh, being a dog lover, we almost convinced her that we had the right <laughs> had solution. To get rid of Fido. She's a dog lover. <laughs> Fido's gone. Fido's history. Fido's history. Or yeah. Just put a picture of him up on the <laughs> yeah. wall and well, shed maybe it. Maybe he could wave. Yeah, and have a have a toast occasionally. <laughs> So I always uh, appreciate the uh, listener feedback. So Dave, I yeah, see you brought in I bought, the old the old is new again, huh? Yeah, I, I got some uh, Bud Light oh. for us here. Okay, you see the uh, uh, the Lion uh, limited edition. It's a limited Lions, edition. Limited edition. Lions can, yeah, and it was uh, big. What is this like? Uh, Twenty four ounces. What is this? This is, is, this is pretty bigger. This is pretty normal serious. tall boy, isn't it? This is pretty serious. So if we start real, making real tall boy. So if we start making sense by the end of the podcast, you'll know yeah, why. You know, it was the uh, <laughs> Bud Light. Yeah. And you know, it's been a long time since we've had light here. You know, we That's right. we, we don't do any of the lights. So it'd be uh, interesting to go back and see what it tastes like now. Because you know, I was thinking when I bought this that you know we don't do light beer anymore. But back in the softball days, if it was on special, we bought it. Oh right? yeah. We, we would, Yeah, we didn't. 
we would sell out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So Absolutely. Special? Oh, yeah. We're, we're in. So I said, no, I'm oh, very you know, fussy about guys. my beer. It's unspecial. Okay. <laughs> so I know Dr. Jim and Killer would. Yeah. They so would you're trying good. to bring it back. Well, we'll see. We'll see if yeah. we can uh, we can do that. So should we have a ceremony? Yeah, ceremony? let's uh, uh, raise, uh, raise our, our, our tall boy cans. And on three. One, two, three. Nice, guys. Oh. Nice. Ooh. Now, ooh, man. Frothy. Cool. I've actually, I'm not a fan of Budweiser, but um, I prefer this to the to the real Budweiser if I have to drink Do you Budweiser. really? Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe next time we do a taste test. I that, like Budweiser. That, do you? Yeah. Well, I could uh, bring different cans. <sighs> okay. And then uh, cover them up. I'm yeah. Always, I'm always open to an see, experiment. Uh, well, yeah. It, but Bud Light, easily identifiable. You think so? so? Yeah, we'd you, almost wait, have wait. to I almost, do an IPA test or something. I was yeah. almost going to do uh, bring Bud Light and Miller Light and okay. then cover them up. Do you think you could tell that? I happens? would like that test. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I'm convinced I don't like Miller Lite, and I can always right, tolerate okay, Bud Light. Okay, so that's uh, at, at some point. I don't know if I can do it next time. because You might practice in between times and kind of ruin the Well, year, I right? think you should take take a vow that no light beer between now and the next Oh, show. there you go. No light beer between now and the next time we get together. That's right. The, yeah, okay. Dr. See, Dr. Fair Jim enough. came with a solution. See, that's that's the solution. Know. Dr. Jim always comes up with a solution. He does. He does. You know, no one, no one ever listens to me. You would be surprised how few people listen to me. <laughs> I drank at least a third of this, and this is like drinking ice water. There is, is no taste to this. It is refreshing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a sh- I keep waiting for the taste to kick in. It's like a spritzer. <laughs> it is. It's like carbonated water. It's the kind of thing you could drink and drive. <laughs> yeah, you could. We could probably drink several you, of you these. You could drink all night and never get drunk. <laughs> no. Right? I'm sorry. I, you know, I, this is... Pretty much, it's it's not beer. That's all I can say. Yep, it's not going to clog your taste buds. <laughs> no, it's not. Now, this, this is a thumbs down. It's a thumbs down for me. Uh, yeah. You know what? On a hot day. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Doing the cutting the grass for a yard work. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab. I'd grab one. Like cold beer. This would be. This would, This could hit. And it was in a refrigerator. I'd drink it. Sure. Well, okay. Sure. There's a. I had a desperation. I'd drink. I don't it. know how <laughs> it would get into the refrigerator, but if it showed up, I would there's drink a, it. There's ice water next to it. Which which one goes? Which one, I don't which think, one has bubbles? I don't know if it's Dylan Mulvaney. I think it's the fact that this has zero taste is why their sales are going well, down the tubes. Well, but. 20 years ago, before they were all the, the craft beers. Right. Right. Okay. It was, you didn't know any better. Well, I think that's, you didn't know the difference. No, there was yeah. nothing. What was, what was even, I mean, we always thought, we always thought stout was a powerful. Right. Guinness right. stout was supposed to be, and it turns out that's a relatively low alcohol right. beer. Right, right. You know, our big thing was uh, Killian's. When that oh, was, yeah. Remember? Man, when that, that was, was premium, man. That was premium. <laughs> yeah, when, when we had some extra red, money. I read and, and, premium, yeah. and and we were fortunate here in the, being so close to our northern neighbor. You could get Molson. That's oh, right. That's, that's right. right. That was. And then once in a while, uh, uh, um, a Coors, uh, Coors, yeah, from someone sneak it mountain before water. You, someone yeah. come back from a western vacation, that's bring right. back like a couple Coors. of cases Ooh, of Coors. Got this, I got this mountain, Ice, yeah, mountain spring water. Mountain yeah. spring you water. Could water. Mm. You could taste it. You could taste it. it. You I knew it. Taste the Rockies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that taste test that we do will be. Um, we'll get Bud. The Budweiser. Lights. We'll just get a and I'll. Hide them all, or put cover the cans so you can't see. We'll do a little taste test. You know, now it's becoming ambers, uh, reds, uh, IPAs, wheat. You almost have to, uh, y- y- and you can kind of distinguish the ambers from the wheats from the IPAs. So you'd almost have to do a taste test of the old old guard, I guess, right? Is that what you're suggesting? Maybe yeah. Budweiser, uh, Bush, uh, Miller. Uh, Miller should be very distinctive. You think? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find I, out. I, 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 don't I, would, know. I would say 
what we might do is this is going to be sort of like a playoff. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take the old brands. Okay. It's got to be, yeah, still. it's got to be the old brands. Yeah. Let's go with the old brands, and we'll pick the best of the old brands, and they can move forward. And then we'll pick them. I don't know. Maybe we do. Uh, the best of the IPAs or the best of the Ambers yeah. Yeah, or the get, best the of, against the of best approval. of the old brands. Right, and that, yeah. that gets us Oh, on. that'd be a different bracket. I get that'd be it. a yeah. different bracket, yeah. right. By I think by the time uh, next summer comes around and if we were still conscious... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We should have. That'd a, be a value add to our podcast. That's right. You know, I could be rating able, beers. Let's aim for like uh, Independence Day. We're going to have the the, the super the Victor, the super. Bowl what would we call of, it? Uh, we, we don't call it the super glass. The super mug. Super the mug. Super, super mug. mug. There you go. There you I'm go. excited about this. All right. All right. Yeah. So we'll start with the old guard. We'll start first. with the old guard. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll cover it up. Like right? the NHL, the original six. Yeah, the you know, original Budweiser six. Budweiser and Miller. Do we go with like Bush, Light uh, Bush, Stroh's? Well, we, you can't do Stroh's because that's a new recipe, I think. Okay. Well, well we could still. Well, they do. We, we can still. Do. They we go with do. the brand. Let's not get, Coors. Let's yeah, not like, get <laughs> religious about this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on, Joe. This is a, like this is a serious help. business. You know, this like, be embarrassing. If we oh, this. All right, all right. What are the original six? What are yeah, they? I I remember having this in, under the bleachers in high school, and it doesn't taste anything like this. <laughs> all right, so I'm I'm going to write these down. We got Bud. Well, let's let me just throw it. But I'm going to say this, and maybe you can incorporate it later. But do we do a separate category for lights versus regulars? I don't think lights will make the. Cut Make anyway. Cut. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of time. In so my we don't opinion. want lights. Yeah, I, I think we eliminate kind of snooty lights. Of us, don't you think? Well, I, actually, he's he's got a point because we're. <sighs> There's an argument for lights if we do lights against some of the lights of the the craft right. beers, like craft lights, too craft hearted, beer, like uh, half hearted, or, whatever. <laughs> what's the other one? Uh, the up up north, yeah. So we think of so let's say maybe for this round we just go with the the, the original six. The, the the original so right, no got? light brand so we got yeah. Bud Miller Bud Miller do we do Bush were they were they original Michelob I don't well, know Bush was a Bud I know it was, the, it was an the, Anheuser well, let's Bush say an inexpensive let's, Bud let's stay away from the offshoots from those brands yeah, okay, okay. Bud uh, Miller Stroh's Coors yeah Stroh's Coors Molson Molson. The bats. Okay, we're yeah. gonna bring in the, the Canucks, huh? So I got one, two, three, four. that's it then. Six, okay. Bud Miller Strohs, Coors, Molson, Labatt. I think that's a good one. That's a good start, you know. That's so, the So know. we're each gonna have a can of one of those and I don't have to drive and we'll call an Uber for you guys. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to do them, uh, you know, one show at a time. It'll force us to record more. Well, obviously, we don't have to drink a whole. Well, no, to, te- to we don't have test. to drink a whole tall boy of each. No, one. You'll, kill, you'll kill your taste buds after you drink. Yeah, I, well, I couldn't no. go from Bud and then do Stroh's, uh, you know, proper service. I got to say one thing: I'm not spitting anything out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we cl- cleanse our palate with water. Okay. All right, cleanse like our water, and, and then we. Or can, no, what do they? What do wine? Don't they use orange sherbet? Yeah, isn't that what it yeah, is? Yeah, who's going to bring the sherbet? I'll bring the sherbet. That, that's, <laughs> no, that's, I'm just kidding. That, that's that you know to make it official. You know we have to uh, do that. Bring the sherbet or whatever cleanses. I don't know. Whatever cleanses, cleanses the palate. Well, we'll leave that for. We'll we'll have to decide when we're going to start that, and then maybe get into the specifics of what's. What we're going to be I don't doing. know if we can do six, though, in a show. Maybe three. Oh, you just, you, killer, you're not going to drink the can. You I get, don't know. Well, well, I, think I don't want to waste wait. beer, Dave. Wait. How many times do you get a beer when you go to a bar and say, oh, I don't like this, and by the end of the glass you say, well, this is not bad. Well, how, okay, how about... All you, right, no, I can have here. We do a, a, a two-ounce two ounce portion cup. You just, a, you know, a, a sip. And if you want to guzzle after we're done, that's absolutely fine. But you're going to have to need all six at the same time. Okay. Well, we'll give it a shot. Let's yeah, give it a shot. Okay. Let's let's. As yeah. long as we have the palate cleanser. Yeah, you got to have the palate cleanser. You know, <laughs> and it'll be like uh, Walmart orange sherbet because I'm not going to spend a lot of money on you. you okay. Guys. I think right. what you got to do though. Boy, our listeners are getting a behind of, the scenes. 
I think preview of this. We got to do this scientifically. Okay. What we need to do. Coming from Dr. Jim. Here's what we need to of do. Of course. We need to do replicates of it. So, in other words, there are three two ounce glasses, right? Three two ounce glasses, yep. Hidden. We don't know what they are. Who's going to do the pouring? Arlene? Well, wait, wait. Don't you need six I, two it'll ounce glasses? That's going to be a tough sell right there. Will it? <laughs> don't we need six two ounce glasses? We need a volunteer then from the audience to uh, do the uh, pouring. Do we need six two ounce glasses? How about if we put approximately two ounces in any glass? No, don't, don't, don't. All right. Don't. But don't we have to try all six that day? As long as we have palate cleanser. Unless okay, he wants so to go, go ahead into an ad. Clarkson, been providing glasses for 500 years in Novi. Um, so, okay, let's talk specific. Okay, let me say what I think we need to do, and then we got to figure out how to build out from that. So what I think we need to do. <laughs> this is the scientific this approach. This is a scientific approach. You got to have, you have to have triplicates of the experiment so in other words you have to taste something let's say let's just maybe give you an example okay let's say we're looking at three beers okay and each is a two ounce glass okay so you drink each of the two ounce glasses cleansing your palate in between and then <laughs> you drink three more and and then identify who's your favorite out of that one and then you drink three more and rank those three and then the three that you picked so then each round go against each other well let's no no then you figure who's does it is there a clear winner of those three (laughs) then the other two are out okay so that's that's down and then we got if we're doing six beers then you got to do the second one the same way and then you do three of one against the other. Jim's a scientist, so I'm not going to argue with him. So He's I, done this so, kind of so stuff. Help me. How many beers, how many different brands do we need next time? That's what we have to talk about. If we, My feeling <laughs> so is... We had him. So did I, but I what what he just told me, I, I understand why. Uh, How many you got? Um, we got six. Having we got We're going to start with the original, what we consider the original major six. Okay, so what on the my scenario, if you wanted to do it, controlling for having as little variables as possible, is you would have, you would taste, you would have two ounces of six beers. Okay. Yes. And then you would have a second t- tasting, two ounces of six beers. The same six. The same six. And then a third testing. Say what? Now, each time, what you would do is you say, okay, I like, I like number two. Okay. Round one, you say, I like number two. I, you say you like number two. You say you like number four. I like number one. Okay. That's my favorite. Okay. We do it the second time. and Same six beers. Six beers, but not in the same. They're unidentified. You probably don't want to taste them in the same order. Right. And you say, okay, I like number three. And what if it's a different beer? (laughs) Oh, it could be. It's probably going to be. It's a question of. Is there one that seems to be on everybody's list? Yeah. Or the next thing we could do is rank them. Okay, I like this number one. This tastes like orange but... sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a it's an orange IPA. I wonder who's. <laughs> so, so again, you're banking on a clear winner, you know? From no, the, no, the, no. The three of us, a consensus of a clear. clear well, winner. I'm saying, well, if, what's the alternative? The alternative is we taste six beers and we. Are we going to get a clear winner? No. You know? Why are we doing it then? <laughs> We're not getting clear. Isn't that the idea? I think the idea is to just drink beer. I think it's just to get drunk. <laughs> well, let's, let's not be so judgmental. Well, how about this? How about if we limit it to two next time? Two beers? No, two different types. Two different types of two beer? Different ty- okay. Triplicates of two different types? No, we, we, we do Bud against Miller. 
Okay. Okay. Blind taste test. Right. All right. And we there a winner comes from that. Then then we go on to the then we go well, okay. same night. That's, we yeah. got to do. Let's well, do that. Let's go into the specifics then. Are we going to do that three times so yes. that we get three different three different days? No, no, no. 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 Three I times think, in one day. No, no. Bud and Miller. I, I like this. So we do Bud Miller. Bud, Bud Miller. Bud wins, and then we do. What is winning? Does Bud win if two out of three? <laughs> or yeah. does it have to be unanimous? Yeah. No, it will never be unanimous. Two out of three. Two out of three. Two out of three. Okay. Right. Well, the the interesting thing is, get, well, I think maybe what we can do is rank them one, two, three, a one, two, one, two, on each one. Yeah. And maybe do. Yep. All right. So you have two points for coming in first and one point for coming in second. All right. So then the next two, do we do against the first two or <laughs> the next two against just they stand alone? They stand alone. Okay. Okay. So right. two beer comparison. Uh, winner requires two out of three, obviously. Now, if it comes then, out. then we do another, then another two beer comparison. Same day. Yes. Okay. Palate cleanser. I'm gonna have to get like a I half like gallon that. of uh, sherbet. Then so two what are we gonna comparison. do? We're gonna get a winner from the Bud Miller. Yeah. And then and that's gonna go against Stroh's Coors. Just all right. For right. argument's sake, yeah, we'll figure that out. Are we gonna do separately, like? That's that when we put aside, no one's going to do a Stroh's Coors? Yeah. On the same day? Yeah. Now, okay. we can do, okay, so, you know, we're obviously going to have a, a winner, you know, out, out of both rounds, and then they go up against each other. So we're only going to test four beers next time. Or, yeah, because we're doing it in twos. Yeah. Is that two? <laughs> do we need to pick up the volume and number of beers per episode? Well, we, Probably. I, I think we do. I'm always in favor of that. I think we could. I think we could do six beers. Okay, so we've got two and two. Two, two, two. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the, th- the then the three winners, winners go up against, go up each, against other. each other. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. okay. So let's see. How do we? Let's just do an imaginary um, exercise here. So we're going to go two beers against each other. We're going to give two points to the winner and one point. To the sec- to the runner up. No, I, I just think uh, at that point the runner up, he's gone. It's just yes, you but, pick a winner. It's, yeah, it's, but it's what? Winner. Okay, I probably. Well, what happens if so? You like one, I like another one, and then you like. I'm a tiebreaker then. That's right, but that's only one round. Now we're going to do this three times. Yes. So and then the last thing we'll have. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to do three rounds with the same two beers. No. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Two beers. Don't, 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 don't. We'll never get through this, right? This two beers. This is riveting. Bud radio. Miller, the first time. Two of us are going to like one. We It could be unanimous, but at least two of us are going to like the same one. All right. So, so well, let's say you, it's Miller. Let's say it's that's Miller. That's right. So Next th- round, Strohs and Coors. One of those is going to be a winner because uh, at least two of us are going to like Strohs or, or I got to throw it. And, and then the next round, Molson Labatt's. Two of us are going to like to one. Throw... So now you've got three winners. No. You just toss the others aside. So what I have. You don't I, think I, that's scientific because I, you're comparing. I, I, am th- I am protesting the purity of this. Because you're saying that, that, what, that the loser beer, of the first round should have been compared review? to a Labatt. No, no, no. No. What I'm saying is I, the winner is. What we happen to think at that instant in time what? about those two beers. That's all you can do. No, it isn't all you. So, <laughs> so if what you said is true, and we did a second test and got exactly the same results, that would confirm it. So you're saying we drink those two beers that one show and, and, and keep voting. Well, keep if we're only drinking out. two ounces... Right? right, so that's nine <laughs> ounces or, or six ounces we would drink, and that whole that to to come to a conclusion on those two beers, we could do then two more, and we'd still only be consuming twelve ounces of beer. When do we do the two more? Right that after day? that, and then we all call Ubers. <laughs> no, it's only equivalent of a can of beer at that. Point. I know. Now we could even do three. That's only. <laughs> 
That's only the equivalent of a can and a half of Jim beer. wants too much integrity in his testing. I say two, 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 then three, and you're done. You can but do Jim, that. Jim, but Jim doesn't think it's very scientific. I don't scientific. think it's going to be very persuasive. It certainly wouldn't persuade me. <laughs> I think we, All right, Dave, you're the tiebreaker. I, I, to do I think we owe our listeners the best work we can do. All right. All right, let me How's that let me write it down so I understand. What is your proposal? First round. First round. Okay. Let's use A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. For the six. Okay. Round one. Okay. A, B. Okay. Two ounces each. Two ounces. Okay. That's four ounces. Yep. Three times. Three times. Okay. Wow, you want this to be wait, wait, really... Wait, say that again. Oh, four ounces. Okay. So we're going to be 12 ounces. 12 ounces. Of... And at the end of 12 ounces, we will have a winner. Okay. 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 Now, let's go to uh, CD. This is round two? Or this first is, round? This is CD. This well, the, well, it's like there. the first week of the playoffs. Got this it. Is CD. Okay. Same thing. Two ounces. Two ounces. Three times. Three times. Okay. And then we have a winner. Between C and D. Between C and D. Yeah. Right, okay. Now, we can either do, and then what do, we, what do we got, an E and F? Or should we do an E and F? Or a playoff between C, A or and B, or, or whatever. Playoff between A and I'm for and doing B, E and C. F. So we start right, out with right. six, and at the end of that, we're down to e three. Here we do do an E and F. An E and F. So we're, we've, we've drunk six times. Six twos? No, six. let's see. Four, eight. It's four times three, 12. 12 24, 12 36 times. ounces. No, no, 24 ounces. No, we've, we've done. Wait a minute. Three times two. Are we doing the A and B? Are we do drinking those three six? times or two times? Yeah. We're drinking each one, so that's four ounces, three times. That's 12. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Four times three is 12. Yeah, so we're. we're so we're, 12 plus 12 is 24. Right, that's Plus 36. You are right, that's 36. 36. I don't know if that's too much. 36 is well, we can three cans ounce. of beer. You could probably tell in an ounce. think so. I tell you what, let's just... Uh, <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. I think let's let's go for this one and see how, right, how, see how it goes. See if we're falling off our All chairs. Right. See, if, <laughs> see if we're coherent. All right, so wait a minute now. So we've just drank 36 ounces, and yes. we still haven't decided a winner. No. What we've decided, we've got three winners. Right. We've got three winners. Okay. So now the next, next week, round. Okay. next round, let's say it's A, C, E, F. F. Oh, okay. All right. All right. A, C, E. Ace. A, C, E. All right? Yep. Yeah. So now we're going to do... A versus C. A versus... Three times? Yes. A versus E, three times. Wow. And then C versus E, three times. So that everybody has been paired Probably, off against okay. the... Oh, man, this is good. So now this we've is about got, as scientific as you can get, guys. This is it. And now we've got two winners, right? Okay. So at the end of the week two, we we have two winners. Is that what you're saying? Yes. At the end of week two. So let's say A beats A beats C. Yeah. And C beats F. Wait a and minute. then F beats A. What does that leave us? <laughs> Wait a minute. A, B, C. A, B, C. Right. C beats E. E beats e. A. A. I don't know how to decide <laughs> what the winner. I don't know. How do, I, I, this is getting too abstract for me. We'll have to... <laughs> we're, we're, we'll, we'll have see. to get it peer reviewed. Huh? We'll have to get it peer reviewed. Peer review. We've got to figure out. That. So, well, peer hopefully, review. what's going to, or we could just really just cheat and say A beats C. Yeah. And then o, A goes against E. Yeah. 
and E beats A. Right. And then we don't know if E will beat C. We don't know, but maybe we don't need to know. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you're saying... We'll assume E will beat C because A A beats C. C. So then to really do it fair, then you got to do all six at the same time. (laughs) Fair. Not if we do that, because the first time we got rid of, we got rid of three, yeah. right? So you're saying we want to be fair to the other Whoa. C, D, E, and F. I think you got to look at equality. Well, that's what it, here's what we got to do. So we do A and B, and then we do A, C, E, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Round two, we start with, we just three uh, letters, A, C, E. Right. Okay. So A won the first round. A won first round. So B is out. Gone. He's done. B's gone. B's gone. So now we got A. C and E. Again, C and E. So D and F are gone. B, D, and F are gone in the first round. Or do you have to do A against C three times? And then the winner becomes, goes, moves on to the next round, which is going to be... A versus E. C or D versus E and F. It, or versus E. No, I think I think we got it. We had it right. Uh, uh, first round makes sense. We're going to have three winners, A, C, and E. So second round, A versus C three times. And the winner of that takes on E. And that's it. That's it. So how many beers do I bring? How many different brands do I bring next time? Hum-a-hum-a-hum-a-hum-a-hum-a. Uh, six. Okay. I'll bring the beer. You two figure it out. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll figure six. out the palate cleanser. As long as, you're, as long as you guys are, you know, up for, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to okay. go take a nap afterwards. Well, we, we, wait we, a minute we, now. We All right, let, let's, yeah. let's paint this scenario. A beats C. So, so let, C's gone. Well, right. So let's She's do gone. the first. Let's do the first week. I get, re, recap We're good the with first that. Week. So the well, first, let's, first how much? Week. How much are we drinking the first week? Thirty six. Thirty six ounces for two. Only for two beers. For six beers. No, isn't it? Uh, are we doing just A and against B? Oh, to, 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 no, we're doing A B three times two ounces. That's four ounces times three. That's okay. twelve. C and D two ounces each. That's four ounces times three. Right. It's 12 ounces each iteration of round one. Right. Okay. 12, 12, 12. And at the end of that, we end up with three winners. So we've drank 36 ounces. In an hour. Round two, week two, we got three beers. A versus C, three times. Uh, So again, that's 12, 12 ounces. But now, then, if A is the winner, it doesn't matter which one, A versus E. Against 12 ounces. And at that point, we've got a winner. Only 24 ounces the second week. Okay. Yeah, but let me make a suggestion. Yes. Why don't we go with one ounce? Dang it. That's genius. You can probably tell in one ounce. I don't know. Yeah, that's why I don't know. Well, you can always ask for a second. You'd what? You can always ask for a second if you're not sure. Mm -hmm. But we'll start out with one ounce. Okay. Well, to your point... We can pour two ounces, and if you've made up your mind in one you don't sip drink or one all. ounce, you don't have to drink it. All right. I don't think it's appropriate to just, you know, limit. I, I don't know personally if I, you know, I like I like to be, I like to be thorough in these things. We've clearly never done this before. No. I... <laughs> Why, you numbskulls? You're right. I we might, we, we we might have to do this several times before we get it right. <laughs> remember, remember when we had the scotch That could here? take us into 2025, yes. Jim. Well, I think we've got, beyond round two, I have no clue. I guess we repeat that again. Well, what uh, I would, And I then think we'll end up with a, a bracket with we, maybe we four will winners. Learn, we will learn after two rounds, you know, mm-hmm. how... How this is working? If it, I mean, it could work like a charm, and the winner could be, you know, Stroh's. Yeah. So Stroh's is the best of the, the original six. The meh beers. Yeah. It's a start. I think <laughs> I think we'll learn a lot from this. A lot of inf- a lot of useful information for we we are a value add podcast. So the, we are because a value the, add. 
this is the kind of research we can bring to, to, bring, to the cutting table. Edge. bring to our listeners. People, people cutting won't edge. have to do, do, you know, there are things that we are, we're saving them time. Exactly. Money. They will you know, avoid buying bad beer. Yep, exactly. That's the goal. We want to prevent people from buying bad beer. A B right. A B B B. A B B B. Avoid buying bad beer. A B Q. There we go. Yeah. That's it. Maybe we can get the t-shirts A-B-Cubed, made. Uh, A B Q make money off t-shirts. That's right. I like it. A B Q. All right, well we'll wrap up this discussion. <laughs> Man. Whew, that was a brain teaser. Music by War on Drugs as found on the Internet Archives, archive.org.